Hello everyone, welcome back to Zaz Factory. So, goals for today. I want to revamp our steel. I think that's just what I want to do. We're going to focus on that ahead of all other objectives. So, let's go check out our steel right now. We... Uh, we're, hmm. I do need to think about sulfur. Because we are pulling in sulfur, but it needs to be transported here. By truck. By tractor. So there's still some potential issues there. We need to set up some automated fueling, perhaps. But, um, yeah. At our core, we've been suffering for lack of uh, sufficient steel. So this is kind of the... Let's see. How would I describe this? So we had a little Starner factory way over there. Then we had our initial expansion, which is when our, we tried to first build the recipes back in tier one or phase one or whatever, right here. Then we built a little steel area here, and then we built this little area here for phase two. So this is our phase two area. That's our steel area. We've completely destroyed the first two parts and rebuilt them um, somewhat better. Although this is still bad right up here. We'll fix that at some point. Now it's time to get rid of all this and do this part better. So what do I, my inventory is already pretty full. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a problem. But I think we're going to just rip everything up. So starting here. Let's just get, all, get rid of all this stuff. See, we're already out of out of room. Um, should I build? I build a box right here. For putting random things. Okay. What I'm doing to do this, by the way, is just holding control. Hold control while while scrolling over things and that gets rid of the entire... You can choose multiple things for deletion. Now, we have to be a little wary about our power grid. I think... Is this all plugged in still or not? Did we disconnect everything? Yeah, we disconnected it. In a way, I don't mind that. Maybe I should get rid of this whole entire area, too. And there's our little copper area down there. Should I? We can sleep on it. I'm probably going to revamp this entire area, but for now, let's not worry about it. <laughs> get rid of these. All right. May us look around a bit, make sure we got everything. Someone's attacking me. I don't recommend it. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron ore patches around here. We also have some limestone. That's more than enough for my needs. Um, we won't be able to use all this, I'm sure. In fact, okay, let's, let's approach this the other direction. Let's approach this the other direction. I haven't even figured out where I'm going to build yet, but let's think about what we can do. So, 
Let me just get rid of all this. Uh, clear all these things. So the recipe where we're going to be pursuing is, is creating steel. From uh, steel ingots. And I want to do it using this recipe. Which uses compacted coal. So... So I guess we should write these numbers down. So 22.5 iron ore and 11.25 compacted coal. These are awkward numbers to work with. Those yield 37.5 steel ingots. Now, in terms of compacted coal, we are producing a full belt of both of these. So a, a, a tier 3 belt, which is uh, 270. So the compacted coal recipe... I guess I should make this a bit more clear. So, whoops. There you go. The compacted coal recipe... Is 25 coal and 25 sulfur yields 25 compacted. Those are some nicer numbers to work with, where it all it's all even. Now we have available 270 of each. So divide by 25. In practice, we're going to be able to support 10. And a and a almost an 11th is about 10 um, so a 10 10 compacted coal machines generating machines I guess they're assemblers aren't they because they use two ingredients. All right, and that's going to give me a full belt of um, of compacted coal. So then we need 11.25 compacted coal per steel um, producer. So 250 compacted coal divided by 11.25. Per machine and again we're gonna run into trouble here so that's not quite to 12.5 so it's a bit less than 12.5 but so if we assume it needs 12.5 then we can double that to 25 double that again to 50 and then multiply that by 5 so 5 times 2 times 2 20 about 20 machines more than that but 20 machines is about all I can do in practice uh, and these would be this is taking place in an assembler again no no I'm wrong this is probably taking place in a a foundry all right so if we have 20 foundries and each of them is producing 37.5 steel. So 20 foundries producing steel ingots. And those are 37.5 each. Uh, so that's half of 75, right? And so half of 75, 75 doubles 150. 150 doubled is... Um, 300 and then we're not quite able to fill up so so double to 75 double to 150 that's four then double again to 300 that's um, eight so we can do seven that's gonna support seven belts of steel ingots really no I don't believe that that's not true I'm doing the wrong calculation. I should be multiplying the two. 20 foundries of steel ingots times 
times 2 is 75750. 750 um, steel ingots as output. Is that right? That doesn't feel right. That feels too small. Times 2 would be 75. Times 10 would be 750. I guess so. Okay, and we can hold that on um, on three belts. So in practice, three belts of steel ingots. And I guess um, from there we'll just create probably two piping and one one one. Um, well, we'll send one of them turn into pipes and one of them, uh, two of them turn into pipes and one of them turn into uh, what's it called? Um, beams. It seems like we need pipes a lot more than beams. Right? Let me just see if I agree with myself. We need pipes for this. So pipes for these. More pipes. Uh, do we need steel beams for anything? I haven't looked at these yet. I've looked at this a bit. So, for the... Um, no, that's still pipes. But these engines... that We know the motors are pipes. What about this? It is... It's only reinforced. Okay, so what do we actually need the beams for... The uh, encased industrial beams. Yeah. And then for our actual factory. Okay, so maybe we should think about it this way. Hey, we're going to produce um, at least two... Um, at least two... two. Well, okay. We're going to devote ore... To, what are you doing here? We're going to devote ore... Um, coal, at least. To two um, belts of steel ingots worth of... And you're here, too. Oh, we deleted our stuff. So things respond. That makes sense. Yeah. I just, I've never seen that so clearly happen. Um, all right. I'm, I'm not quite finished with this yet. I need to think more. So we're going to have, at the end of the day, three belts of steel ingots. That's what our single belt of compacted coal is going to generate. Does that jive with our recipe? So it's this is three times that, basically. thirty. It's 33.75, 37.5. It kind of fits. So to do that, we would then need... Well, we can just use this ratio. So we just need two belts full of iron ore to uh, actually make that happen in our 20 foundries so we're having 20 things that are producing three belts that's a little awkward maybe we'll just do 21 or drop it to 18 either way um, we can make that happen so, one full belt of compacted coal, uh, coal, and then two full belts of iron ore. That's the plan. How do these rarities work? Impure, impure, impure. <clears throat> impure, impure. And these? Impure and impure. Okay, they're all impure. So that's a simple calculation. If we were to build a minor two, which I cannot because I need more modular frames. But I think we're going to be getting 120 out of it. Let me just uh, double verify. Mm. 
<clears throat> Do I have enough plates on me? I've got plenty of plates. So if we were to build a minor two, it's 60 per, hmm. We could um, use these to get more. It might have to. I mean, we have a lot of these, so maybe we can just combine them in parts. Think, let me think about what we need. We said we needed, uh, we needed, yeah, let me just make sure. So one, the whole idea is it's one full belt of compacted coal and two full belts of iron ore yielding three full belts of um, steel. And you know, if I just, you know, looked at this recipe and thought of it in those terms, rather than thinking in terms having to do all the multiplication, that would have been easier. But we had we needed to get these numbers too. The how many foundries we need, how many compacted assemblers. So it's gonna be uh, I should actually do this one too. So it's one belt of coal and one belt of sulfur yields one belt of compacted. Okay, now to get the two full belts of iron, that would be a total of um, 270 times two, which is 540. For men. Um, each hatch is giving me 60. If we don't do anything. So 60 into that would be, uh, what am I looking for? Six times, uh, it'd be nine times six, right? 90, nine? That's right, eight times six is 48, so add two, add four, okay, 54. Did I did that? Did what I just say make sense? Okay, we would need we would need um nine uh ore mines, and I just said that I only have eight. So so in practice, what if we were to put one of these in to each of them? That would bring it up to ninety. So if each one was 90, then we'd only need six of them, right? All right, the numbers are a little awkward because we have two and two instead of, we have two and four instead of three and three. But I think that's a plan. I mean, what if I were just to go to extremes? What if I were just to max it out? How much would that be? That'd be 150. And we need to get to 540. Would that be easier? We get to 450 and then... Uh, and then 575. Or, no, 600. Just right to 600. Nah. What about the 200 level? That'd be 120. Then we could do it with five. Nah, I don't know. I think well, I think we're just gonna go with with the nine with the ninety. Then we'll have six of these mines. 
these four and these two. And the ones up there we'll leave alone. All right. I'm kind of thinking that I might try to load from underground the ore. Maybe even the coal. That might be interesting to do. Maybe. So we should just build a... Perhaps a floating platform. I'm trying to think about whether I'm going to get in the way of the refineries. Hello? And we are going to need to use that eventually. What if we just build it like right here -ish? Going up into the sky right here. So, oops. Hitting the wrong buttons. So our key is going to be this. That's our key block. Everything else will align to that. I'll figure out what I'm going to do in the ground level at some point in the future. All right, and then we'll build a little platform right here. Make sure we're not going over the mines because they're they're pretty tall. They're still taller than than where I'm building. So Let's, uh, let's think of this in terms of sub-modules. So we're going to have somewhere where we're going to build, be building um, the compacted coal. Our sulfur is over there. Our coal mine is coming this way. So maybe right here on this ridge. Where is the coal? It's right there. That's the end of our coal line at the moment. And that's the sulfur right there. This is a fine spot. And the whole thing is one belt. One belt plus one belt equals another belt. So, uh, do we need to go up two? We might need to go up two.
All right, how are we going to lay this out? We have to make 10 assemblers, right? Just 10, right? 10 compact to coal assemblers. Um, output to the center. Inputs around the edge. I like it. Here, lock that in place for a moment. I want to leave at least one room, one block for the input logistics. This is flush, right? Yeah. And the output. Is that enough room for a... Uh, I probably need a little bit more room. It'd be nice if I could just put it right there, but I don't think that's enough room. Not to look, not to look good. So should I back it up all, even all the way here? Let's build one more foundation on this side. Now this is going to disconnect my factory. Or a decent chunk of it, probably. And let's cut down some of these trees. Excuse me. Oof. How are we on this side? Ah, this side's clear. All right. So then another assembler. We're probably gonna need to go one more further this way. I hadn't thought about that. But matching this one aligned with the end of this one. Right? These are too far apart. I don't need them to be this far apart. I just need a little bit more room. Like that. This would be fine. And does this leave enough room for us to do logistics on this side? Probably. Let me just make a couple of these and we'll see how the how the um the splitters get laid out. So the idea is we're going to have two lines. I don't know where they're going to be coming in. They'll be coming in... Say they're going to be coming in from right here. Well, like, um... The whole issue with the um, with them, hmm. There is the issue is that we we do need to interweave them. So this one will be taller. And then a splitter. For 
for the right side one on this level. And for the left side one on the top level. How does that look? It looks fine. I think that that's not going to clip or anything. Yeah, I like it. Now do the other thing on the other side. Let's make sure we have room. Uh, we might not have room. This, this used up the entire block. So I think we better... I think we better add yet another um, another foundation there. All right, what spacing did I use here? So if this was flush, it's kind of hard to see it now that I put stuff there. Meh. Like about there-ish. Yeah, uh, except for we're going to want the belts run the other direction. I think this is enough space. It's a little, a little unfortunate. Um, I'm going to nudge. I'm going to nudge this back a bit. So that it's centered on this platform. It'll leave a lot of room in the middle, but that's fine. I don't like how this looks. So face the middle, be lined up, and you're going to finish right there. Which leaves a lot of room, but it's the lesser evil, I think. Alright, so that's two, or that's four, and we said we need a ten. Right? Yeah, ten. Three, four, five. Almost fell to my death. I think that's what I want. And both of these will have to go up right here. No, that's not, not the way to do it. Start going up right here. Then come down again, or well, stay level right here. And then come down to turn 
right? Just go straight into a turn? Yeah. Is that the right interval? Let's see. It's about that far from the edge of the machine. Uh, that looks good. Alright, and this one similarly can just go straight across. All the way to here. So wait, okay, so the this is the right column. Is that right? What, what's the spacing between them look like over here? Um, I think that's right. Looks good. Okay, splitters. Let me start on this side. So, that one. By the way, the doing this is so much easier. The before what I was doing was I was um I was placing the splitters and then running the belts between them. But placing the the splitters right on the belts is easier. It's what I learned when I was trying to um figure out piping. Piping works the same way. I was trying to place the 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 connectors between the pipes first and then run pipes between them. But no, you just put the piping down and then connect it whenever you want. Something I am wasting, though, is these are only going to be pulling in individually. Yeah, these are only pulling in 25 per minute individually. So these connections going to the machine can be level ones. Save some steel that way. Alright. Uh, is this belt crooked? It is. This belt's crooked. So that's straight. Or... Yeah, that's that's straight, I think.
Ah, that's the issue. It's not letting me. It's it's not letting me put it in the spot I want it to. Um. That will do. It's a little weird looking at the end. I hate it. I don't like it at all. I need to fix this. What if I put it to there? There we go. That's a nice curve. That works. All right. sure I'm getting the interval correctly. Alright, and then these are all level 1s. I guess technically these could be level ones too, but it doesn't matter. Sure. Looks good. I think this is going to work. Now the joining. Uh, let's let's actually not do what I usually do. I'll, I'll just start with a. Well, I say usually the way I'm going to do it from now on. I just want to make sure this is evenly placed. Looks good. Then we can just extend this right this way. Da here. And have a bunch of mergers. And then we need level one belts. Like so. I do, th okay, I'm, one thing I do have to say, it takes a little bit of time, but once you've done, you know, 20 or so hours of building stuff, you do get a much better sense of control from the tools you have available. Like, I, I laid this out so much faster than I would have, like, even our first little smelter area. And that was only, like, six or seven areas, uh, six or seven hours ago, right? Maybe a bit longer than that. But this, is, this, this was not difficult. Anyway, let's set it up. So it needs coal and sulfur. I'll just throw that in for a little bit. We need to do power. Let's 
So two will do. We'll just put one one over there, one over here. All right, it would make more sense to do to do them in pairs this way. So, yeah, let's put that one right there. There. No, that's not right. There. All right, now we actually have to supply it. Because right now we just say, it's going to get something from somewhere. Da -da -da -da. Which ones are sulfur? This is Katerian, I think. Yeah, that's Katerian. So this is the sulfur one. <sighs> Do I want to mess with that? Or just kind of go with it? I think at some point we're going to completely override our transport network for our outposts to, um, to use trains. So I'm not going to worry about this for now. I'm just going to continue to, to take, it, to take um, sulfur out like this. That's going in. These are coming out. I know we're not building on foundation, so it's going to look ugly. Our trucks can get over these, right? They're, they're, they're kind of short and squat. They can go underneath this. Let me just verify real quick. No, they can't. It would need to be up one more. Steep. Where am I going? Up about, I'm going over there. This is very ad hoc. This is not being set up very nicely. But that's okay. All right, and now the coal. We no longer need to split the coal.
that clipping at all? No, it seems good. Why am I clipping? I don't think I am. I think that's fine. All right. Now I'll set all these to compacted coal. We're not plugged in to our main grid. All right. I just want to make sure everything's loading. All right. Looks good. This eats up power, by the way. I'm just, um, each one of these is at 15 megawatts. But that's fine. We can always go and uh, mess with our coal power system again in the future. Alright, before we can really call this done, though, I need to um, to deal with our fuel situation, because it's just not good right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's get a little meta here. So this will be the fuel station, or fuel, uh, fuel dock, it's where you unload the fuel. And you're going to come out here. And then split. Feed yourself. We should probably redo these these uh these lines. I don't think it comes any further down than here though.
Like, if we're avoiding that power pull, we're not going to run into this belt. And I think I think it just goes like this. Or rather, rather it goes like this. And then comes turns back around. So it should be fine. Should be fine. Now I need another truck. Let's set up the other station first. It's scary time of day. The music is all creepy. So this is already going here. This is going to our Caterian mine. Where are we making a fuel? Right here? Yeah. I know we're not building on concrete. We're not building on foundation. It's terrible, I know. All right, and... Yeah, all I have to do is connect this to there. my power line there all right and this is not self-supplying at the moment this doesn't have plastic so where the plastic is being built right here we just need to do some spaghetti belting Ooh, I'm out of um, I'm out of out of conveyor belt threes do a two. A two is sufficient. Can you go under the pipe? I mean, you can, but probably it's not, not that aesthetic. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. No, I'm not going there. I'm going here. No, I'm going there. I don't know if we are producing enough pla enough, enough um, fuel and um, whatever. This is back to rubber. Are we pro are we producing fuel anywhere? Yes, this is producing fuel from our residual. I probably could figure out the right ratio of producing. Like producing plastic to generate the fuel I need, but it might be easier just to just to have another refinery. Nah. 
Maybe we'll just let this go for a bit. Like, they have a lot of room to fill up these. Want to be starting using the fuel again. This is not a good solution. This is not a long-term solution. This was a, you know, keep it going for a while solution. All right, so we need a truck or a tractor, just a tractor. This is our fuel refinery. And you're loading. Here, have some fuel. All right. Let's record a new path. What? What? This is why I should build roads. Whoop, whoop. The handling on this is not so great. All right, and we're going here. Unloading. Right, that was the right one, right? I think that was the right one. Look at this mess of arrows. I wonder if there are collisions. Like if we set two trucks to go the same way and they go, they end up bouncing into each other. All right. So save that. This is our fuel path. All right. Let me grab some of this. I'm not sure what's going to happen if we're going to end up with an entire fuel depot full of fuel or whether it's going to be constantly draining. I guess we'll find out. I don't know the efficiency of fuel relative to the transport cost. Here, you can have some fuel also. As you carry around that caterium for days. Okay, so none of it got out yet. Okay, you just dropped a whole, off a whole bunch of fuel. That's what I want to see. 
And you're going to head home and get some more. And now we've got refueling, automated refueling when they each drop off their thing. I'll let that go for a few cycles and then we'll see what the sulfur um, transition rate is. We might need to add more trucks or um, add more tractors, whatever, to that, that line. Because we're, we're relying on getting, you know, uh, 270 sulfur per minute. Which I might not be able to deliver. Let's see what it's telling me right now. It's telling me zero items per minute. Well, that's that's an issue. Oh. But when it comes back, maybe we'll get a better reading. All right, let's just assume that's gonna work, and we'll check on it later to fix why it. We'll fix it when it isn't. So now we've got our one belt of compacted coal. So this goes away. This goes away. We made these. So twenty foundries is the next step. We also need. Uh, six ore mines. So how many portable miners do we already have? We've got two. We need, we need uh, 12. Which is more than the inventory space we have. Here, throw some of this in the ground. We might end up having to re to take them down and rotate them around to make sure the the belts work in a nice way, because I haven't really planned out what we're gonna do with the belts. My thought was we were gonna try to put them under. Oh, I already have one, so I only need ten. But yeah, my thought was that we were going to um, we were gonna try to run them underneath the ground. What are you doing? You're clipping through my factory. And we were gonna only put in one of these bring up to 150. Oh, just a moment, just a moment. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that. What was I doing? Uh, we are placing some miners. And we'll figure out their orientations in some future date. I just want to pick out the basic locations of each. So we're going to use these four also. The six of them combined should give me enough ore. <sighs> Sometimes I, I, I don't know what to say. I swear to God. Things can just get a little messy at times. So again, I wanted to try to use loading from underground for the iron ore, thinking that maybe that would be prettier, or at least maybe a little bit more um, workable up on top. Although really, these are just um, these are single. No, they're not. They're they're foundries, so they do have two inputs. They have the uh, the coal as input. Oh, there's a truck going down. Let's just look at that for a moment. Oh. That one was like off track and then got teleported to where it should be. Well, they seem to be going. Okay. 
We'll check out rates at some point in the future. Um, so what was the plan? We were going to make 20 foundries. And we don't even, we can't even make one. We need more rotors, more, we, we can't make, we can make 10. More rotors, more concrete, and then a whole bunch more frames. Which reminds me that we are out of steel beams. Do I happen to have any just sitting around? I don't think so. So we'll have to actually just build them. We got tons of this, though. The ore. Uh, but we're unpowered here. No? No good? Now it's green. Alright, just make these for me quickly, please. And I'll just hand supply you now and then. Let's go get some more stuff. Wait a minute. This is our coal. Oh, oh. When we just okay, are we powered on now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, here comes the coal again. What I really should do is I should run just a line of the large power poles right through the center of our factory and make sure everything connects to that. Because as we take out parts, we're losing the connections. Ah, well. I should do that, but I'm not gonna. And we're making some rotors here, I believe. Are you turned off? No, you're just, you're just out of staters. But you're not getting any more, any more pipes at the moment anyway, so you can't keep on making them. Uh, concrete. I forgot about the concrete. Let's go get some more of that. Wow, right here, let's take a look at this. Like, it seems like the, those two must be full by now. Right? Yeah.
It's a little deceptive because we're not actually using the sulfur very much. But we don't have any... Oh, interesting. Okay, I, this, this is information that's useful. So this uses two, two fuel, two of these per minute. Let me just take a look at the other two. So that's two per minute. And that's three per minute. So we're in total using seven per minute. I don't remember what the rate was on our fuel generation. Let's go take a look at that. Are we producing seven fuel per minute? Someone was telling me not to bother using these tractors because they're a waste of fuel. But a waste of what? A waste of, of time? I mean, we're getting all the oil we need from over there. It's not like it's ever going to run out. So we're producing 40 fuel per minute. Forty per minute. Okay, that's more than enough. Uh, this needs forty per minute, so that's that's working. Now the canisters are forty per minute also, and we're producing them at sixty per minute from this. If we have thirty per minute plastic, which we do, we're producing the residue at twenty five. So we're not quite producing enough fuel. We're going to run out of this, I think. But it's not, the ratio isn't terrible. But it's not going to continue indefinitely. It's going to run out at some point. Alright, so, so, we were saying we're going to place foundries, and there's going to be 20 of them. I need 20 of them, I was going to do 21, because we, the output's 3. It's just, it's, it's kind of awkward, dividing two belts among three lines of machine. I can see a way to do it. Hmm. Like, do I want to go up to four lines? It, it would really be kind of awkward. Best to do... Okay, three lines of seven is what I'm going to do. Three lines of seven. And should we make them all face the same way? Or should we try to... Yeah, I think we're going to make them all face the same way. And that way will be... This way. So leave leave a gap for for logistics. Oh wait, no. If we're gonna make this, we're gonna make it symmetric. So here's the middle of our platform. These are exactly one foundation, it looks like. No, I'm wrong. They're a foundation and one step. All right, so we're going to have one thing go down and be one input. The other input will just run right up here because there's only one belt that's being distributed to all three. So we're going to need at least like this much space. So then the next one when it's outputting is outputting to like right here. So I think I need to build one more foundation on both sides. So let's back that right up there. And 
And we'll go out one more. Okay, in terms of um, the horizontal uh, distance, we need seven of these, not assemblers, uh, foundries. So that's two, three. So that's three, four, five. Either one or two more of these. Let's see. Ah, I just finished up the... Yeah. Looks good. Alright. Need more modular frames. I'm probably overproducing. Just like uh, I, in, in practice, I'm overproducing um, reinforced plates at the moment. This entire factory section over there has been idle for quite a while. But whatever. Ooh, this is kind of slow. Like I thought we'd have more than more than eighteen by now. Only two per minute, I know, but still. Okay. Well, let me get this this minutes couple, and then we'll go back and do what we can, and then come back here later. All right, so that's one, two, three. So that's two of our three lines. Let me just think a moment about the coal. Because the, I'm sorry, not the, not the coal. The coal is an easy situation. We just have, um, we're going to split a coal thing into three parts. And it's going to just get distributed to each machine. That's going to be fine. The iron is the trickier bit. Because we have two belts of iron, they need to be distributed among three lines of foundries. And I was going to load them from below. So how does that look right now?
individually we can use conveyor lift ones, I think. Right? Let me just check, check the recipe here. We're skipping over the whole making iron ingots. Um, that's kind of why I like this recipe. Because we can simplify it a little bit. So yeah, these, these per minute totals are, are small. So we can just use mark ones. We could go all the way to the ground if we want. <laughs> Is that fine? Or maybe I... Hmm. Let me think about this. Let's assume that we're going to... We're going to have another layer of um, a foundation down here. I was thinking about hanging from the ceiling, but we could just, just have the elevators come all the way down. I'm almost out of iron. Vehicle deadlocks. What? What'd that say? Two or more of my tractor. Okay. They, they do. They do crash into each other. I was curious if they destroy each other or what, what the deal was with that. Instead, they just can't pass each other. Where are you deadlocked? Yeah. Nifty. They don't even hit each other. They just sit there saying, my route won't let me continue. All right. Which one are you? Brutal. <laughs> Stop it. Ah! It's actually faster than me. I can't catch up. You're the Caterium one. All right. I'll redo our... our um... No, let's redo our Caterium one. That's fine. So you... Delete your path. Yeah, delete the Caterium loop. Six packaged fuel? What are you doing? Ah, ah. All right, let's begin here at the drop off. So start recording. Unload.
I don't have to worry about it intersecting itself, just the other, the other lines. Uh, did I need to go down that path? Or can I, can I go down this path? No, I needed to go down that path. Okay. Del stop recording. Delete the path. Let's try that again. Ah! Yeah, I could have gone here, but I missed it. All right, start recording. Load cargo. Actually, Wait a minute. Stop recording. Let me just actually take a look at this. Could I go over this way? Or does this not lead to where we want to go? Some random ore right here. Like, we could go straight across here and then go down, like, where the, um... In the same place as where the, the, uh, the sulfur one does. Yeah, this this will work fine. So we'll go across the top. Then we'll never hit the fuel one. <clears throat> it's a little messy up here. But I'm sure it's fine. It'll work out. Where'd my truck go? Is that was that supposed to be it? Like you don't you don't have you don't have a route. No, that's got to be my my fuel one. Well, for whatever reason, it was able to get all the way over here. It just returned back home. Autopilot is disabled, so I don't know why, but I'm not going to question. Start recording. Go here, unload. It's a little bumpy. But we can do this. It's a little bumpy. Load. Dude, you better get out of my way.
you know what's good for you. There we go. So save path. Two. This has six packaged fuel, which is not what the other thing was telling me. But whatever. Here. You do your thing. Alright. I'm just going to assume that works. Did we get some data on this yet? Two items per minute? It's because it's full already. Yeah, once it's not full, we'll actually be able to see how much we're transferring. It says maximum transfer rate's 30 stacks, but I don't know if I believe it. All right. Okay, so that's dealt with. What, where were we? <laughs> I got distracted. We need more frames. I need more fuel for myself, my own little personal transport. There we go. I think we this it must not have been powered for a little bit because we we came back and we had like twelve and it was supposed to. I would have I expected to have fifty, but um, it must have just been depowered for a while and now it's back on. Get rid of the intermediates. I was just trying to line up the two. No, one more. Out of plates. I remember I needed plates. I just uh, slipped my mind. We ran. We're not making any more of that first object either. Can we run some staters over? Maybe make that happen. It's not going to work because we don't have any more piping going in, but you know. Oh yeah, and you ran out of wire too. So we're not going to get more rotors either. But you can make a last batch of motors. And that's not even what I was dealing with. It was this. You ran out of steel beams. Yeah. 
Well, I don't have a I don't have a solution for you. I don't I I could use more steel beams myself. I didn't pick up the iron. What am I doing? I'm getting so distracted. Like, I can literally forget what I'm trying to do by in the middle of walking over to do it. Shameful. Alright. I think I will just load straight here on the ground. Like, rather than trying to run across the ceiling. We'll make it look pretty somehow. It's going to be a little annoying having to place each one. But... But we can make it work. Uh, so... This. And then we have to look down here. Which direction do I want to load from? This way? Or from the middle? Maybe from, from the middle? We'll do it from the middle. Somehow this is not overlapping, for whatever reason. Not sure if this is pretty or not, but we're going to we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll see. Like I could even make it so that this is where we build ingots. And the shooting gets up. Here, if not, if nothing else, the, the, we need to get rid of this tree. So the idea was we were going to... Uh, why am I having trouble thinking about this? We have we have um, three rows of, of machines. While we are going to... While we're only producing two rows of... Two belts of miner... Of, of ore. I can just pair them up. 
right? And just use them in three rows still. So I don't I don't need to combine this these three together, for example, and then split them out again into three. I can just take these two and run them right here. Yeah, I think I had a, a blind spot or something. I was just not thinking of it right. Out of steel beams. Right, right. What's the amount we're going to be putting on this? 540 total. So it's going to be 180 per pair. So we do need to use a 3. Can't just get away with a 2. We're going to need a lot more beams. Yeah. So right here, or maybe, maybe right here. I don't like it. Let's run it the other direction. We'll run it from here. So say we're going to build it like this. All the way down here. Out of beams. I'm going to just build them out of um, iron for now. And then we can convert to beams when I have the beams. Is that not straight? Wait a minute. It's right in the middle of this foundation. No, it's not straight. Okay. So start right in the middle of this foundation. No. How do we fix this up there? We got to look at it somehow. Is that? Is that okay? No. There. I think that's good. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And the splitter. Oh, does it not want to line up? It doesn't let me... It doesn't seem to want to, to lock with that. It's 
Do I have to do it manually a little bit? Wait a minute, what? That wasn't even the right way. Wait a minute. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to, to lock on at the right angle. And it keeps on switching its direction. See? Like that. Like when I get close to being right, it switches direction. That's weird. Let me just see if this works even. It looks like it does. He just doesn't want to snap very well. It works though. It works. It looks like it's working. I'm not going to question. I'm just going to accept. All right. Yeah. No, that's bad. Do it better, Michael. Don't get lazy. Close enough. Merger here. All right. about the coal you know what i think we're gonna have to re resume this i don't have time to i'm not gonna be able to finish all three of these we have a pattern we'll make the pattern work
All right. So thank you everybody for watching. Let me know what you think of this. Any major suggestions I can do to improve things? I know it's kind of incomplete, but I think you have an idea of how it's going to turn out. There'll be three rows of this. They'll be they'll be fed from below with iron ore. They'll be fed from above with the the compacted coal, and then we'll output three rows that will go back down this way. Anyway, thank you for watching. Till next time.